All right, guys, so I got Wago jacked up. I went ahead and pulled the oil pan off. Uh, didn't film any of it, just kind of wanted to get it done. I do have videos of pulling the pan off in earlier videos when I was first boosting Wago. If you are interested on how to take the pan off on a four-wheel drive wagon, so it's kind of a bitch. You have to take the transfer case off and shit. Not as easy as a regular Civic. But anyways, going under the car, give me a sec. So the bearing that went out on me is number three right here, just like Charlie's. So if you can listen, or I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I can move that guy back and forth. So definitely should not be like that. Uh, it's definitely not as bad as Charlie's. But once this camera focuses, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like little bits of the bearing hanging out around the uh, connecting cap right there. So the bearing's pretty flattened in there. It's probably pretty scored up and shit like on the crank, but I won't know for sure until I pull uh, this carriage off right here. I got to pull these these eight bolts out and pull this pump off or the, this is the oil pickup right here. Got to pull that off. And then once I get all that off, uh, I'll drop this whole carriage out and take a look at it but i'm guessing it's gonna be pretty bad pretty scratched is my guess so we'll see in, the, in my oil pan i didn't have like too much metal like when we pulled charlie's off there was like a shitload there's a probably probably enough metal for the whole bearing but i can feel like a tiny little amount of metal down in there not much at all and then the only big chunk i pulled it out hold on where is it was that right over here this is the only big piece of metal that was in the pan and it's like paper thin. So, not sure how good the crank's gonna be until I pull it out. And honestly, even if it's a little scored, I'm not sure, like I should probably get a new crank no matter what and rods to do this correctly. But if I can just for now, we do have that extra D16 and the bearings out of that thing, we're in pretty good shape. And if I can get away with it just for now, just to get through winter, uh, I might just slap in the bearings out of that just right in there and hopefully it'll be okay like that. So we'll see though, cause I really need to pull that carriage off to really know for sure. And I do plan on rebuilding Wago anyway eventually. Like I wanna fully build the motor or at least do rods and pistons. So whenever I do that eventually, that's when I'll go through the whole motor and actually pull the motor out of the car and go through it all legit. But for right now, I just wanna get it up and running again if I can. So I just got the main bearing carriage off or the bridge, whatever you wanna call it. And I went ahead and pulled the rod bearings out. These were out of number two. Uh, I said number three earlier, but it was actually number two. So I'll get it to focus on this guy real quick and show you how bad it is. All right, so I got it focused on there. As you can tell, this bearing is completely trashed. It's done. It's bad. So not as bad as Charlie's was. His was completely gone. This one's still like somewhat intact, but it's, it's fucked. So that was the one side. Here's the other one out of the same off the same rod here's the other half to it so not as bad as that first one but definitely still still bad so and some bad news I felt the crank and it's it's scored up uh, you can't really see it on camera so I'm not really gonna film any of it but if you run your finger along it you can feel like a hump of metal like because one half of it kind of got shaved down so there's just like a bump on there it's not smooth at all it's the crank is fucked too so I need the crank and I need, I would need a new rod as well with the cap and a whole new set of bearings. So in the situation I'm in right now, I'm kind of going to leave it up to you guys real quick. I don't know if you guys want me to try to get this thing back together and make more videos of it because I can get it back together. I actually found a new crank locally with new bearings and I can throw some new rods in there. Like not a problem. It'll just take a little bit of time, but I can get it done in a day or since it's already at this stage, if you guys want to wait a little longer, like I don't know how long, it might be, you know, a month or two, but I could go ahead, pull the motor out, pull the tranny out, put new rods and pistons in it, forged internals, put the VTEC head I have on there, and run more boost, upgrade the clutch, and turn this thing up and try to get it to like 300 horsepower. It'll be way more badass. But I really want to leave it up to you guys. I mean, this sucks either way, but. I don't know what you guys think I should do. Should I go ahead and just build it? Because fuck it, why not? Like, why put all this work into it when I'm going to have to pull it apart again soon anyway to do that? Or should I just try to get it back up and running? So, completely up to you guys. So let me know in the comments below. 
And an update on the hatch for some of you guys who are wondering. Uh, I did call Insane Shafts today and they're gonna ship me a new axle for the other side, for the driver's side, because that's the one that popped out. And they're actually gonna lengthen it for me like a half inch so it will stay in there and not pop out like how it did again, even with the motor like slightly shifting over. So honestly, that was pretty cool of them. This was, they, re they replaced both axles. I only had to pay for the shipping. So not sure about the product itself, but as far as like customer service and like how well they take care of you, they are awesome. So that should be coming soon and I'll get the hatch up and going as well. And I'm thinking right now I'm gonna get uh, everything put together on it and push it out of here just for now because I wanna get the MR2 in here and start on that also. So I got the hatch down on its wheels and we're about to push it out. I'm just gonna park it over on the side over by where I parked Hayden's car, his uh, Civic shell. So I'm just gonna put it off to the side for now, put a tarp on it, and I'm not gonna mess with it until that axle comes in the mail. And what we're fixing to do right now is pull the MR2 in. So we're gonna use my buddy's Integra and just kinda pull it, cause it's gonna suck to, it would suck if we had to push it in the snow. So here's why it's new purchase. Got this badass Acura Integra LS. Don't know what that means, but it's cool as fuck. <laughs> How much you pay for this? Got this bitch, 300 bucks. And fuck it's got yeah. a cool JDM drift bar fucking mirror thing. That's cool. Look at that. Ooh, get it, boy. With all the breweries. And a door that doesn't exactly shut. Like, you gotta kinda lift it. <clears throat> yeah, and it doesn't actually latch either. All right, you've got bungee cord. Fuck it, bungee cord across the seat. Driver mirror delete mod. Yeah, aerodynamics is a goal with this thing. So, yeah, pretty fast, you know, fastest thing I've ever been in. B18. Uh, it's actually H32. It looks like it used to have hood pins. It used to be cool. So yeah, uh, it's got some sick custom copper fade going on with the hood here. <laughs> Um, definitely painted a hood gasket or a head gasket with a copper coat. A hood right gasket. There. A hood gasket. Got one of them sick new hood gaskets. Shine the light on this. Look at that. Yeah, pretty sick new whip. JDM. That's fuck. Nice. Oh, and, and the one mismatch wheel. The yeah. rest are steelies. And this thing's gonna go tow the MR2. Yes, I'm ma'am. Got the sick tow truck. What is that? I thought you were a tow truck driver, not a plumber. <laughs> Whip, baby. I, I didn't hook up the front of the MRT, but... I ain't hooking up, not my car. <laughs> what are you doing? No! No! Oh, it's good. I don't know where you want that, so... Oh! oh. <laughs> that thing's light with no motor. Fuck. Well, it's not it's hooked, not hooked up. up. Oh. I don't know where you want to hook it. I hope it runs you over. Oh, there it goes. for it. So we just got the MR2 pulled in here, got the heater going, cause it's really cold outside. 
and need to melt all this snow off of it. Uh, but we still need to push it back out actually and I want to flip it around so I can work on it like with space over here. I don't want to be working right by the garage door with this so need to flip it around real quick and we also did run to Walmart. We got some plastic tubs so I'm going to be putting parts like for Wago in these tubs just so I don't lose anything and I really need to start cleaning up in here just because it got pretty messy over the last few days. So I think that's where I'm going to end it for right now. But yeah, let me know guys about Wago, because I'm thinking before I go through all the work, I might as well just throw some internals in there and get it going like r the right way. And then I can actually show you guys how to do all that so I can get the motor pulled and all that shit. And then make a legit build video for you guys. I don't think we've made a video on showing the whole process like going from a stock motor to building it and then putting it back in and getting everything running and doing every little thing to the car. So if I do decide to build it, I can at least have those types of videos for you guys. Because once we started this channel, Charlie was already going on his car. He already had that motor put together. The hatch was already done. So this can be like a start to finish kind of deal, even though it is already turboed. And also I'll show the build on the MR2 once that gets going as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.